little bit of context first. Unleash your inner archives and think back to October 2019. I had changed my channel username to Marzipan Studios on the evening of October 3rd. I had a couple username changes before that over the years, but the aforementioned had certainly been mine for a longer time than others. Studios, though I had considered productions and industries, was chosen due to the fitting connotations of art and acting that occurs within my channel, the channel serving as the sort of studio itself, whereas Marzipan was the name for my persona at the time. This is where it gets interesting. It is now January 2020, a challenging time for many, but we won't be staying here for long. I had changed my persona to a new character, Marianne, so the name Marzipan within my user no longer meant anything in relation to my character or characters, but I had decided to keep it as my user due to Marzi still being my persona's shortened name, Marzipan serving as a wordplay on it, as well as the fact that many studios don't typically have their creator's first name as the title. Many do, but many also don't. 2020 is over. Take a breath. We now come into 2022 and 2023. I am starting to feel a little dysphoric whenever someone would refer to me, brackets, the creator, as Marzipan. My name is Marianne, or Marzi, the latter of which I would usually correct them to. We come to spring summer of 2023 and I'm thinking of a possible name change. I had a list compiled of several names I like, utilising my persona's name. Marion Studios, Marion Productions, and many more. The Anne component of my username does slightly incorporate my persona, whose name is Anne Fora. Due to the familiarity I have with the title of Studios, I had decided that Marion Studios it will be. It also serves as a smooth transition from my previous username due to the similarity. The problem with many usernames ending in studios is the lack of complete originality. There are many Instagram accounts with the name Marianne Studios. I notably had this issue with my previous username as well, but since my Instagram's username is completely different to my YouTube either way, I can let this slip by. Unless there's legal trouble, of course. I may change my YouTube user to something more unique within the year of 2024. It will definitely be something Marianne or Marianne something. Of course, you are welcome to refer to me as Marianne, but you are more than welcome to still refer to me as Marzi. Marzi has always been a pseudonym I have held close to me since 2014 going on 15, and have always appreciated the use of. Mars and Mari I wouldn't mind, but I do know a lot of people in the flesh with these names, so I do have a strong preference for the first few I mentioned, but I do not at all feel discomfort from anyone utilising these two. Most of my other social medias will have their usernames unchanged due to being different from my YouTube either way, but if any social media account of mine was the same as my YouTube, it will most likely be the same as what it was earlier, only altered to Marianne Studios or simply Marcy Studios. I will update any hyperlinks in my channel description soon. As you probably gathered from my speech, Marianne is pronounced Marianne with emphasis on the map and and components. Preferably the R's are meant to be rolled, but since I genuinely struggle with rolling my R's, it is not a problem at all if they are not. 